Hi, Mr. Edna182 here. A lot of people uh, come over to my house and they say, "What are those? Uh, what are those things you got in, the, in uh, those bottles hanging all over your your uh, outside of your place?" And uh, what they are is they're is they're uh, they're uh, hornet traps, yellow jacket traps, wasps traps, whatever you want to call the uh, call the uh, flying insect. Uh, around here we have a lot of hornets and yellow jackets, and uh, so uh, I've I've uh, I bought I bought this one a couple of years years ago, uh, actually two years ago, and uh, I've never emptied it, and uh, it cost about twelve dollars, and uh, that's what you get in about two years of this just hanging up. I do put uh, a tractant in it every year. Uh, these things, I uh, once I make them, I uh, fill them up with sugar water or uh, a little bit of Mountain Dew. And uh, they work really good. And I'm, I'm going to show you how I make them, and they're they're really easy. So what you do is you take a, a pop bottle, or a or a soda bottle, or a Coke bottle, or if you're in the Kentucky area, a empty bottle of Ski. If you're in the White River Valley, Indiana area, Big Red. Uh, take your bottle. Take a uh, soldering iron or a wood burner, and uh, you're going to need a uh, a straw. These are uh, a big straw that you get from, uh, I actually got these from McDonald's. Uh, we have gas stations that have these big, huge straws. I, I refer to them as shotgun straws. So anyway, what you do is you, is you take your bottle and take a very hot uh, wood burner or uh, soldering iron. You go ahead and you, you're going to make a hole the size of this straw. I'll just show you that real quick. And... Uh, Kind of on this corner right here, just pierce it down in there. Kind of make it a little. If you if you, if you make your holes too big, don't worry about it. You can uh, you can fix them with tape. Just uh, put some tape over. I made that one a little big, so we're gonna try to make this one the right size. And yeah, uh, eh, try her again real quick. There we go. And uh, that'll work. And now what you want to do is you want to take your take your straws, and you want to cut them, cut them about, cut them about about an inch. That's about an inch, I guess. I'm gonna cut them about an inch. Usually do about four of these. And uh, like I said, don't worry if you cut your holes too big. You just covered up a little bit of a little bit of tape here. What you do once you get your hole done. Go ahead and just put your straw in there. Make sure it goes all the way in there flush. You want it in there flush. And then uh, I take a little bit of the iron and uh, heat it out this way. Kind of, kind of makes it, uh, kind of glues it in there. And then, and then, uh, at, and then uh, go ahead and make about four of these holes, like I said. See if we goofed up on that one. That one's good. Run it in there, like I said. Just kind of smooth it out, glue it in there, and then, uh, and then what I do after I'm done is I fill it up with sugar water, the same stuff I I I've been feeding my uh, hummingbirds, and hummingbirds like uh, four to one, which is uh, uh, about a quarter cup of sugar and uh, a cup of water. That's how I do that. Okay. Once you uh, build these like this, you got to make sure they're flush. And what happens is the uh, hornet, wasp, whatever you're trying to catch, they'll go in there. They can get in there if it's flush, but they can't fly out because we're going to put the lid on. And of course, if you leave these two holes, they'll be able to get out of those holes. So that's what you do, and then just hang a hang a string around the neck and just hang it up. Fill it with a Mountain Dew or. Fill it with sugar water and you'll be catching hornets, wasps, yellow jackets, and uh, that's how I make them. So have a good day.